Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the second episode of my first trip to Peru to photograph new species of hummingbirds. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you can click there. In the morning, we left Tarapoto and went on the long four and a half hour drive to get to Reserva Arena Blanca. We stopped halfway there to have a picnic breakfast right next to a gorge by a bridge that there's a whole flock of oil birds that live in there. Well, they aren't hummingbirds, but these are very, very popular birds with the regular birders. Reserva Arena Blanca has been a very popular birding area for years, but the land was purchased in 2014 by Senor Becerra, and he set up a private reserve to protect the area. Now, he built a platform and a tower, actually. It's an elevated tower overlooking a whole bunch of plants and hummingbird feeders. This is where we wanted to photograph the wire-crested thorntail that frequents this property. Now, the wire-crested thorntail is a tiny, tiny bird, but the male is really spectacular. He's got a long, steely blue tail and this brilliant green crest. I got several beautiful pictures of this bird and William also got some video. One of my favorite pictures of this bird, if you first looked at it, you wouldn't recognize it as a wire-crested thorntail, but I call this my scary Halloween picture because all I caught was his crest and this claw coming around the side of the flowers. I swear, if I saw this coming in the door, I'd be trying to beat it off with a broom, but I love this picture. This was also my introduction to the white-bellied wood star. What a cute little bird. They're, again, very, very small birds, but their wings beat so fast. They fly different, and you can certainly hear them coming. They sound different than all the other hummingbirds because of their size and because their wings beat so fast. They actually give you the illusion that they're not really flying very fast. They look like big bumblebees around the feeders. The male is gorgeous with his brilliant pink gorget. Now this was one of two places that we were looking for the rufous crested coquette. several hours at Reserva Arena Blanca, and then on our way to the next destination, we stopped at La Llanteria. Now, La, La Llanteria is a tire place, plus a restaurant, plus a very big birding destination. Kind of odd combination, but that's what it is. It's run by the Chuque family, and they have a platform with a bunch of hummingbird feeders and they attract the Ecuadorian pied tail. And that's a bird that you don't really see very often. It's a great little bird with a little tiny pink under its chin and it's very easy to spot because it has a lot of white in its tail. I also got my first look here of the green hermit. Fairly common hummingbird that we will see again, but this was the first time I got to see it. The violet-fronted brilliant is a gorgeous bird. Pretty common, but we got some really good pictures of it here and in other places on the rest of this trip. 
they have a pattern of feathers that go further down their beak than most hummingbirds. So they're fairly easy to spot. There's a whole bunch of different brilliance and they all have this feature. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday we're going to the Abra Patricia Cloud Forest to the famous Owlet Lodge where I get to see the sword-billed hummingbird for the first time.